Hello everyone, making an end of video, this time to speak about um, uh, why women have to give the submission to men or why were they told to do so. Everything again starts always from Garden of Eden. Um, the reason why we were told to give submission to men was because two reasons the first reason was because God saw how naive women were compared to men and again how I said in the video about Adam and Eve naiveness is not just to, to do with being a fool or to being dumb or to be stupid is simply because when you are naive you have it's pretty much because you have a pure heart, a heart that doesn't see the bad in others, that doesn't believe that others are capable to do bad things. And if they say something, you pretty much you're going to believe that it's going to be true. You have um, a pure heart, so automatically it makes you easier to be deceived. And... Um, the other reason it's because that is part of a curse that women were cursed with by God as for men to rule over women okay because at that time they didn't have any any um differences they were all the same the same level okay but as punishment um god has course has uh, cursed women with that um with that punishment um but unfortunately over the centuries women has been treated like rubbish because of that if you rule over someone it doesn't mean that you have to treat them like rubbish it doesn't mean that you have to take them take advantage of them simply you are just in charge you have the authority that they weren't given by god um for instance jesus also has men were taught also to give submission to jesus and jesus also rules over men it doesn't mean that he has to treat men bad just because men are under his submission. And the same way men should have done the same. But unfortunately, they're not doing it. Some In some countries, in some cultures, yes. But it wasn't always like that in the beginning. And there are still many areas in this world that still treat women like crap. Okay? God saying that women should give submission it doesn't mean that they are less capable or less um able to do anything that men can do simply that she giving submission to men is pretty much saying that she has to ask permission before she do anything or taking his decision or his point of view in consideration before she makes any decision or maybe not even making any decision at all without um, asking her, her husband. Um, but in the same way again, men should do the same to Jesus and to God. He shouldn't just make decisions without asking God as well. Because this is what it means to give submission to or to be under someone's submission. It's not just that... We're going to think, oh, I'm on top, so I have to treat somebody like crap. We should never treat anyone like crap, by all means. Even in the Bible says that a man that doesn't love his wife doesn't love his own self. There is no way a real man can treat a woman bad. Because no matter what, woman was created to fulfill a man's life. She is a gift to men from God. 
the primarily the primary gift that God has done to man was a woman. And if a woman was so rubbish like this, why wouldn't he create another man to be a companion for Adam? Because he knows that woman is the only being in this world that is capable of fulfilling a man entirely, of completing him. Yeah? In every single way. In every single way possible. And as men, men suppose to appreciate that. Appreciate that gift. There is nothing that anyone in this world that is capable to fulfill a man more than a woman. And many men desperately are desperately desperately looking for the right partner to marry and the most beautiful thing and funny thing that i i find about the creation of the woman yeah i'm going to read the scripture in genesis 2 18 and it says that the Lord God said it is not good for the man to be alone I will make a helper suitable for him he didn't just say a helper for him a helper suitable for him this word suitable it means a lot because he didn't just create anyone. It was someone that would be capable of fulfilling him and completing him in every single way. As a companion, as a lover, as a friend, as everything for him. And... It's really upsetting for me. I'm going to be honest. It's really upsetting for me as a woman to see how many women are treated like crap. You know, because of people always taking something in in a bad way, you know, in a way that is going to spoil everything. You know, for instance, in my work now, yeah, they've already stopped us from bringing watches to work because many people have been stealing watches there. I work in a warehouse as a packer, okay, I do packing, and now we're not allowed to bring watches, wear watches to work. Why? Because some bad people always have the bad idea to use the naiveness or the um, lack of security from other people, right? To do something bad with it, you know? And it's really hurtful for me to see how many women have been treated like crap because of this curse, because of these rules. But it doesn't mean that we have to be treated like crap. You need to remember that you are, if you are a man, then you're treating a woman bad. Is the gift that God gave you are treating bad? The creation that God has created to fulfill you is what you're despising. Okay, and the the reason why I'm making this video. It's because, of. To explain, the reason why. God has also choosing a woman as a witness. Um, the true last prophet, um, the witness, yeah. Why he's choosing also a woman. Not only to break that curse, but also to make people understand 
that a woman is way valuable to God. And that there is no, no differences between men and women. Because he's created both in, in his image. And when he chooses someone, it does, the, the Holy Spirit, when, whether he's a woman or a man, it is no difference. There is no difference. If whatever has to be done in a man or a woman is still also going to be done. Through a man or through a woman is still also going to be done. Because it's the Spirit of God that is doing them things. And the Spirit does not care if whether you are a man or a woman. And when a God chooses, when a God chooses, yeah, He's choosing through the heart abilities and spirit abilities. Nothing else. Okay? So I pray that this video will help you to be encouraged, whether you are a man or a woman, to respect every single one, okay? And this video is also in regards to make you understand why God is also choosing a woman to be the witness, because these two witnesses is to exalt every single one of those who have been treated like crap, over the decades, over the centuries, over the millenniums, okay? To exalt every single one of them, <clears throat> including a woman. Including a woman. So I pray that we will be guided and protected in Jesus' name. That we are not going to have um, any sort of foolishness and deceivements in our hearts and not allow ourselves to be deceived by Satan by all means with hypocrisy that religion teaches a fall against um, God's true gospel and um, that we keep on the watch that we keep protected and blessed and saved in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye.